Hi everyone, welcome back to some XCOM Enemy Unknown. We are doing a target extraction today. The music is a little bit different now, if you haven't noticed, but you know, we get a, a heavy that's a major, which is good. I'm confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. I mean, I, I'm pretty good with having a... Hey, we still get alien grenades. I wonder how that is. Well, I guess... I guess you don't lose them when you use them, so... Yeah, that's fine by me. Okay, so we have a heavy, my salt. I'm considering to bring another arc to our lung, but I'm guessing triple strike will be able to do that a little later. Um, I don't have any better weapons yet for any of these people, uh, so we're gonna keep it the way it is, I think. So let's uh, let's get going. And off to do a target extraction, which I don't think I've actually done one of these. Strike one, prepare for landing. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. I guess we're just uh, gonna protect the VIP at all costs. Wait, I don't think I've ever done any of these, uh, period, at all, actually. Now that I think about it. UN official Peter Van Dorn and his entourage were caught in an explosion that decimated a nearby bridge, and we're picking up hostiles converging on the area. We need you to confirm Mr. Van Dorn is still alive and bring him back safe before the whole place is overrun. Objectives updated. Hey, Friendly's over here. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> okay, um, I will be honest, this is totally blind. I, I don't actually, I've never done a mission like this before. Uh, well, let's, uh, get everyone into position. Alright, so, let's see. We got some full cover over here, which means if I bring my sniper up there, uh, he won't be able to shoot back, but, you know. Let's try get- let's- let's get a crossfire going, because that- that always works out. Whenever I do that. Okay, I- I don't think I have to rush this mission, but... I don't know, let's- let's take it calm and collected, because... You know, the last couple of times I've, uh, I've had some issues, so... You know. Okay, so what's this? What's this? What's the deal with this guy? Give me the sit rep. here to get Van Dorn, right? He ran up ahead to find one of our men who got caught in the blast when those freaks at the bridge. Look, we're in no shape to take those things out. If you can go grab Van Dorn, we'll get you back to your aircraft. Okay. What? You'll get me back to my aircraft? guys are nuts. Yeah, you know, I, I honestly, I don't really get what's going on here. Uh, I won't even lie to you. Okay, SGT Dan will uh, head up the side here. I, I, I think I, like the snipers are not going to be able to shoot back from these positions, so uh, that's why I'm kind of moving them into these areas. And he will hunker down. Uh, that guy kind of sounds kind of nerdy, to be honest. I'm wondering if it was some sort of like, I'm guessing what's, you know what? I'm what I'm kind of guessing what's going to go on here is that um, they're gonna. I think what's going to happen is they're going to drop in. I don't think. Oh, here they are. Uh, <laughs> hi, Finn, man. And more thin men. Oh boy. And they're around the they're around the VIP. Well, uh, Mr. Shiv is in no position to help out with this, so. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start moving everyone up to full cover. He's gonna have a rocket at the ready. Uh, I think he's immune to poison now because of his Titan armor. So I don't really have to worry about that kind of shit anymore. Let's just get everybody everybody in a position where they can return fire, and then uh, I mean this is this is full cover right here, so that's that's pretty good. Okay, so Mr. Shiv will not be able to move for the duration of this turn. Uh, I want to kind of just give everybody an opportunity to shoot back. This is a really bad position because that's just asking to get flanked. 
Uh, he's already in full cover. Volkov can technically move back. I don't know. I'm actually kind of inclined to get Volkov to move back. Because he, get, he, gets, he gets full fucking... Whoops, I just overwatched him. Whatever. That works for me. Okay, uh... Start moving people around. Actually, they won't move because he's overwatching. Never mind. Probably not my better idea. Okay, now he's gonna overwatch me. Yeah, it's unfortunate my snipers can't get a shot off. Uh, let's see, we got 60% on both. We also have a possibility of an alien grenade. Which they're behind a car, so that will actually work out, possibly. I wish I could move him up slightly. My assault can divert his fire, actually, so let's do that. I can't really move him up anymore, though. You see, you see, this is my problem. I'm, I'm, uh, they're just, they're kind of like hunkered down down there. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna divert his fire here. Lightning reflexes will make sure that he misses. Okay. And let's see. We're gonna move our sniper, this sniper up at least. Because this, he'll be able to shoot at. Yeah, there we go. Now he can get shot up. He can actually shoot right now with a 95% chance to hit. Might as well. Uh, okay, that didn't actually kill. Don't worry, I'm planning on getting Mr. Shiv to uh, throw up a, uh, a smoke grenade to, to prevent him from actually getting killed. So we'll be okay. Um, we could throw up a grenade. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with that. Not quite a good position, uh, but we can suppress. To just I'm just looking at my options right now. Chill, guys. Um, we're gonna move him up. Still, we got about sixty-two percent. Uh, I, I don't think I'll be able to take a shot over here. I, I probably can over, here. well, maybe on this side. Cause that's a, that's a far, that's a far shot right there. So let's, let's bring him all the way over there. Like, oh wow, he can, he can get a shot off right at like, right next turn. Awesome. Okay. So, this is a good plan. Alright, so six. So, we're gonna smoke everybody in this radius here. Everyone gets a bit of a smoke grenade. Because they, they, they're in half cover here, so I don't really want that to be a... Uh, I don't want them to have any trouble there. Okay. We can take we can take three shots. So we might as well before the round ends. Oh. Maybe I didn't need to use that smoke grenade. Okay, apparently my uh, my team is amazing shots. Still, the smoke grenade helps because they are in half cover. I don't know where the rest of them are. Here's one. You triggered my Overwatch card, and it missed. It's it's good that I had the suppression there available, you know. Okay, and he's taking a shot at Volkov, who got hit anyways. He'll be okay though. And that car blows up now. Rarely I don't ever have my snipers in the line of fire there, but uh, you know, in this case I did. But uh, he's got a big fuck you sniper. It was shot with your name on it. Oh, it does it for that. Now, we still technically don't know where the rest of them are, so let's uh, let's get this guy healed up. And Mr. Shiv actually now heals uh, 6 HP rather than the uh, default 4, which is good. And... I'm just gonna overwatch everybody right now. 
but if they decide to come up again, they probably gonna be screwed. Yeah, you, that was your last mistake. <laughs> okay, the, the camera just zoomed out kind of all of a sudden. Okay, one more turn of Overwatch from everybody. Just to make sure we have everyone. Oh, no, we got one left. <laughs> it's one by one. Uh, this, is, this game's fun. I think I killed everybody. I, I wasn't actually keeping track of how many I saw. We'll do one more turn of Overwatch. Ow, oh, he has to reload. Oh, yeah. I, I'm hearing music. Oh, well, nobody actually showed up, so. Let's just reload everybody. We don't actually have a lot of ammunition in our weapons right now. Oh, there he is! Now, I was thinking there would probably be one more. I wasn't. I was. I didn't know for sure. It's unfortunate though that uh, he broke through because I was reloading everybody. No, Mr. Shiv, why do they hate you? Fucking Christ! Well, at least he didn't hit my sniper. Oh, it doesn't for that. Just notice that I didn't go into a cinematic view, which is what it normally does whenever you get a kill. Uh, it, Mr. Shift still has a shit ton of health, so I'm not really, like, I don't really care. Uh, but we're gonna actually overwatch everybody anyways. Okay, I think, I think we're good then. Uh, maybe we'll, uh, throw a... Uh, battle scanner. Can I actually throw one here? Cause look at look at this range there. So I should be able to see everything under there. You the ops team? Get over here. Objective updated. Okay, we need to get up to him. Looks pretty clear. So we're gonna start moving up there. We are so the ops team. And I don't know about what my snipers will be doing. I think it'd be good to have uh, our good friend Dan like right here. Because you can get shot in that direction and in this direction. Um, the problem will arise though, potentially, if they start dropping down. Um, I make It may catch my snipers out of position, but uh, it's a risk I'm willing to take actually in this case. Uh, and you can pop her down. Gotta love them battle scanners. Get down here! Not fair if I have all the fun. Who the hell is this guy? Van Doom? Okay. I, I don't really know why he's like, he's like, it's not fair if I have all the fun. What, what fun? This is just like a kind of ops mission or something. I don't even know what the fuck we're even doing here. Okay, we'll just dash over here. I was thinking maybe I should move Mr. Uh, sorry, not Mr. Shiv. Volkov to a better uh, position to, to attack stuff. But you coming down here or what? I am in a minute. He's like he's just taunting me. This is like the worst fucking hostage I've ever seen. Thank oh. God you're here. I'm still breathing, but I can't say the same for a lot of my boys. Let's get out of here before any more of those things show up. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. New objective received. I don't know what outfit you're from, but I haven't seen gear like that before. You know, there's really no point in us engaging these guys. My one problem is that I want to move them all the way back. Okay, he. This is a ter. First of all, this is a terrible position for him to be in, because uh, he's just he's just gonna die, which means I have to move him to this half cover. I gotta die. I, I have to dash him back. I just. I, I'm kind of just. I'm, I'm tactically assessing this for you guys just to tell you what my thinking here is, because uh, there's like a shit ton of thin men. If they all decide to go after this one guy, um, he's pretty much fucking dead. 
I can't bring him back into anything but half cover right up here. This is the farthest cover I can see. I can move him all the way back here, but I take the chance that they're gonna uh, find a way to shoot him. So my best op option here actually is to probably just move him directly back here. Is it possible for me to throw a grenade? Okay, I can, so I can throw a smoke to cover him. And then I'm going to just let the rest of my team cover him. This is full cover here, but I don't want him there. I really don't. Because it can go, it can go um, so many terrible ways. He's not in range of anybody right now, but he can't actually, he can't take cover anymore. Um, but that's what Mr. Shiv and Shit are for, so. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it like this. So this, this place is covered as well. Alright. Uh, let's see. We got some cover right over here too. Great. Uh, you know, maybe I should throw the smoke after because this is uh, difficult to hit. 70% uh, was two, two shots. That's, that's good to me. Okay, that guy's dead. Uh, my snipers will remain there. Let's see who else we got. We can move somebody. We can move one of my guys up here. I don't want to move anybody up who uh, won't be able to attack back, though. Uh, well, well, full cover, you know. Let's see who we got. Okay, we got a 70% chance here. I'm just trying to limit uh, the amount of uh, spaces they're going to be able to come in here. Oh, and we got a shot now with the sniper. There's definitely more up there, though. But let's see who else we have. I probably should have done... Well, actually, no. Uh, Dan went to made a difference there. Okay. So I'm going to let my other guy go into this cover. And he's going to overwatch, and Dan will overwatch. Because Dan is too far to get shot. We've got a wave of x-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Actually, they can both double tap now, so it just occurred to me. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, only one Overwatch for me though. That's uh, some full cover he's behind. Nice. That's how we handle Thin Men, where I'm from. Okay. This is gonna be the one problem is they're gonna keep uh, kind of flying in here. Um, I don't know why the thing decided to put me over there. Okay. Let's make the let's do the easy shots first. This is why you have your snipers in defending places. Uh, and here we got a really good shot anyways. <laughs> Wow. We, we already captured a thin man, so I don't really have to we care. we get out of here alive, I just hope I get another shot at these bastards. I owe it to my men. Okay, the reason I'm sprinting this guy back is so that we can get everyone to kind of help cover him. Because um, he's only got like 3 HP or some bullshit, so... We honestly, we don't need to be up here. So, uh, let's see what we got. I kind of want to move Mr. Shiv back in here. The smoke is going to be gone next turn, by the way. And triple strike can come up. Uh, he'll have to be dashing. Well, actually, they, they can kind of both... What they'll do is they'll both actually come together and they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll just cover up the rear here. Probably shouldn't have these Enemy guys separated. Headed your way, strike one. Get ready. I have my uh, my assault there, though. Now nah, they'll be okay. They, they can they can take shots back. All right. Well, they got one of them. I just wish I could have done more for my people. I lost some good men. Yeah. 
one down. And Volkov can get the other one. Through like two cars. Like, it's like this is the most insane trick shot I've ever seen. Alright, um. Now let's see who we got. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I should just run him. I can't run him quite to the Sky Ranger, but I can run him so that during his next turn he can do it. So he's gonna go here. Um. These guys are gonna come back into. Uh, he's got one shot left, but that should be enough. We're, we're starting to run out of like shots for shit, but you know, I think we'll be okay. Cause I'm gonna. These guys are gonna come straight up here, and like if if needed during the next turn, I can. Uh, I can shoot with them if I need to. Just need to have the, these guys on Overwatch. Hey, look, nobody, nobody showed up. Alright, I'm gonna just dash him up here. Draw any fire if, in case there is anybody. Bad out there. I might not have made it if you didn't show up. I owe you one. Seriously. I wouldn't be here without your help. Executed to the numbers, strike one. Get back here on the double. Yeah, I think I have done one like this before, actually. I, I, it's, I, it's just very rare. I don't really do them very often, I guess. Still, that one, uh, that one fabulous, so, you know, I'm pretty happy. So, back we go with the Sky Ranger. Mission is, is a success. And Triple Strike got his, uh, Deep Pockets upgrade, which means now he'll be, uh, the second guy with my Arc Thor. Volkov got wounded, though. And we got another we Heavy Major. Be in touch, Commander. So with that, we're going to get another Arc Thrower. Might as well. And I guess there's really nothing else for me to get. And we get a Workshop Rebate on Ammo con Conservation. And we also get Scope Upgrade. And Improved Pistol. And Volkov is back in duty. Contact detected. And a UFO has landed and hasn't been more than just a couple of days. Do we have any other Foundry projects we want to do? We could do, I guess, like, this one. How many Weapon Fragments do we have, though? Uh, Weapon fra Not very many, so I don't want to actually waste them, because I'm going to still need to make some weapons, so... As you can imagine. What am I doing for research? EMP Cannon, right. Uh... Now, I'm just kind of wondering, how many, uh, Firestorms can I make? Potentially. Oh. Not enough hangar. Oh, not enough hangar base. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm not against doing two firestorms. I'm good with that. How many UFO flight computers do I have as well? Uh, UFO flight ten. Damn. And even. Oh, here we go. Okay, so sorry. Just a little something. So, things like alien surgery. These. Uh, these are nothing. They don't do anything. They just you sell them. That's it. The re the stuff that has the green text saying that you can sell them. You can just sell them. So. You don't have to worry too much about that. Um, and like, if you have like too many Thin Man corpses, and you can just, you know, you don't really need more than ten. Whoops. I like to keep like ten around. There you go. Now I got like two seventy, uh, which I really have nothing else to. S they want chrysalid corpses. Vets on no. our side. It takes a serious pair to go face to face with one of those things. Uh, and so with that, I'm gonna go make. Uh, Okay, making some firestorms. So I'll start by making two fire, uh, two, one firestorm per continent, basically. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Build two firestorm. I don't know. A Titan armor. Two firestorms. Let's go. Yeah. We need more. We we will need more hangar base to make more, but this is good enough for now. Okay. And with that, I think uh, I think we're good. And oh wait, we have plasma rifles. I am totally all for that. So they don't have enough money for that. How much am I short? It's like fifty bucks. I don't know. Can I sell something? I wouldn't mind having fucking like some. I need like fifty bucks. That's it. Eh. Eh. <laughs> 
Look at me being a hypocrite and selling more than I actually need to. <laughs> Alright, and... You know, when it comes to sniper rifles, Mike doesn't fuck around. Oh, damn it, I'm still a little bit short. Well, I guess I'll still sell those chrysalids corpses or something. I know, I know, I could, well, actually, I could just give them to the people. Well, you know, let's just fucking give away these things. Who gives a shit? Oh, God, you want some chrysalid corpses? Fine. Go have them. It's 80 bucks. Whatever. I did, I figured it wasn't really worth it, but whatever. You know, I'm not using them for anything. All right, we got two plasma sniper. It's, it's a fucking plasma sniper rifle. What do you think I would want? Out of anything in this game. Okay, well, until next time, we will be watching.